I was recently at the Music City Pin Turners Gathering, and I was visiting with Kate from Bullseye Turning, and she gave me this gorgeous curly cottonwood uh, stabilized electric blue blank. And just take a look at that. This is gorgeous. She does sell these, and if you're interested in a blank like this or in one of many other colors, here's Kate's card. I'll put her information in the description to this video. If you contact her, tell her you found out about her from RJB Woodturner. The reason I wanted this blue kit is look at this. I have a gorgeous electric blue titanium cigar pin kit that we're gonna make this to, and I think it's gonna make a really stunning pin. I wanted to show you this at my work table because I think it'll be a little easier for you to see, but using the tubes that came with the kit, I laid the lower tube here, and I marked just past the lower tube to give me a little bit of extra material. And then I placed the upper tube on the blank and marked it once again, leaving a little extra material. This is my center line between the two blanks and the arrows denote where it will match back up so that I can keep this blank as close to aligned as possible. We're gonna head over to the bandsaw and we're gonna get this cut into two blanks. I found the center of both of my blanks. I've chucked up my 10 millimeter drill bit. We have the lower blank in the vise. Let's go ahead and get a hole drilled in this blank for a tube. This is the lower blank of our kit, also known as the body blank. Our blank turned and sanded really well. I've got it on the non-stick bushings and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna clean it with a little bit of this denatured alcohol. We'll let it spin for a few minutes so that can evaporate. And then I'm gonna put my standard CA regiment on the pin. I'll come back and show it to you as soon as it's ready to be micromeshed. This blank took the CA finish really well. I'm very happy. Just look how it shines. Isn't that amazing? I love just what the light does to the blank. I've already cleaned the ends up. We are, of course, back on the turning bushings. I'm ready for my micro mesh. Uh, I have found that 15 seconds per pad is about the optimum for a CA finish. Uh, it does not remove the CA finish. Uh, however, it does remove a lot of the orange peel effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and micro mesh and I'll come show you the blank as soon as it's finished. Wow, that micro mesh does an amazing job. Let's get a little bit of uh, Renaissance wax on here. I'm gonna rub the wax in really good, then we'll buff it with the buffing wheels, and we'll get started turning the cap blank for our pen. I've got the cap blank chucked up. I'm gonna film turning this. However, if it turns as easily as the body blank does, I'm not gonna bother showing you that footage. I'll just come back and show it to you after I finish micro meshing the blank. We are ready to micro mesh. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll put a little wax on the blank, we'll buff it up, and I will meet you at the assembly table to put this blank into a kit. This is gonna be a fun pin to assemble. I'm really looking forward to it. We'll start off by using the deburring tool and deburring both the body and the cap.
Let's go ahead and take the nib and we'll press that into the lower half of the body blank. Very nice. Now we want to press this. This, is, this little uh, piece here, it's kind of a trim ring and it also has the threads for the transmission. We want to press that into the back half of the body blank and I'm going to use my little uh, tool that I made here to protect those threads. There we go. Press her right into place. Now we're going to drop our ink refill in there. We're going to thread our transmission on. There we go. That's working really nicely. Let me set that aside. I'm going to put it behind here because my table tips forward just a little bit and I truthfully don't want it uh, you know, rolling off the table and getting damaged. I'm going to, let's see, let's put this trim ring on here. There we go. And that goes in the bottom of this. Let me get the smaller one here. There we are. Now let me give a little bit more of a press on that. There we go. Wasn't quite fully seated. And lastly, let's look for a spot. Wow, there's not really a spot that you don't want to show on this blank. <laughs> Um, let's do it here. Maybe right here would be good. All right. Now let me go ahead and press this together. Let's look at it. Yeah, how about like this? This is an amazing pen. Let me get you a close-up of this pen. Let me change the light here. You just can't really see it in the video how it, it just, there's a chatoyance to it. That's just simply amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love the blue kit with it. I don't know that I've ever used one of these color kits, um, but wow, I really do like it. This pen is phenomenal. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I really like this pen. I love the blue with it. Now that I look at it though, I wish I had a second blue kit. And the reason why is I'm working on an orange burl that I also got from Bullseye Turning. And I'm thinking orange and blue together would have been, it would have crushed it. Um, I don't have another blue kit though, so can't do that. But wow, really happy with the pen. I think it looks gorgeous. I want to thank Kate over at uh, Bullseye Turning for giving me this gorgeous blank. I cannot tell you where the pin kit came from because I was approached by someone who was getting out of turning and wanted to know if I was interested in buying them out. So I bought all of their pin kits and this just happened to be in the, uh, in the box full of kits. So I don't know where they got it from, but uh, if you know where to get these colored kits, put a comment down below uh, in the comment section. That way other people looking, if they see that and they want one of these kits, they can, uh, they can go get one. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.